So before we jump into it, let's look at our album and see the previous rooms. So this is, uh, I think, the most recent one. Let's go back to the beginning. This book belongs to John Cadia. That's so cute. Finally, my own room. So this is when we were a kid. We got our Tamagotchi, uh, Simon Says. And you will see what's kind of nice is like these different, you know, stuffed animals and stuff. Some of them you keep and some of them you don't. You don't have any choice in it. You just kind of see what your character still is interested in. Like that troll doll. We never had that thing again. That was a fad. Here was our uh, classes start Monday. Uni, here I come. So here we are going to university. I love this 90s style computer or 2004. <laughs> I was going to say it looks 90s to me, but yeah. I think I started to get black computer equipment in the early 2000s. Uh, March 2007, movie nights are going to be awesome. So this was interesting because when we lived here, we had roommates, not a boyfriend, not our parents, but just roommates. And there was a lot of things we weren't able to move. We weren't allowed to mess with our roommate stuff, which is kind of neat. We have to kind of fit in with their life. Like this whole cosplay thing, we couldn't move that. That wasn't ours. And then this is when we moved in with our boyfriend. Feels so serious moving into his place. We see it like full screen. How does that work? Oh, cool. Oh, can you like still play? Oh, wow. You can just like jump into that world if you want. Let me go back to album. That's kind of neat. I had no idea. You can actually just go into there. Oh, and you can replay it. Where's that? Oh, right here. Quick playback. Let's go to full speed. I wonder what this looks like. I, I didn't even know this is a thing. Oh, that is weirdly satisfying. Wait, hold on. We got to do that for all of them. <laughs> hold on. I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, let's watch all these. And then this one, maybe that lets you actually just replay the entire thing if you want to. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's watch uh, our childhood home a room as we unpack everything and I love how they look like real things like there's a box that looked like operation that might have been too fast hold on there we go let's see it a little bit better might even go a little bit slower than that that is so cool oh I love that and you can see me rearranging things too just trying to make sure everything fits make it look a little bit nicer oh do you see the sun came out just as we finished that that's awesome. Let me go down one more. So this is when we moved into uh, kind of our first room on our own at university. Probably go a little bit faster. <laughs> Watching the books bounce around? That's funny. Does it actually do the... It looks like it doesn't do screen movements. It literally is just showing... Um, like the entire room, which is kind of nice. It might be a little distracting if it was like zooming around all over the place. And the sound effects when you pick things up and put them down, that's so satisfying. So it does show you when you um, switch rooms though like that. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. And they do a good job of making things make sense. Like when I first found a mug, I originally thought, oh, that needs to go in the kitchen. No, you get to use your mug in the bathroom to store your toothpaste and toothbrush, which is cool. Just like little things I wouldn't have thought they would have programmed in there at first. I do question their packing ability sometimes, though, as far as, like, putting everything for one room in a box. They definitely have some weird mix-ups at times where it's like, why is our keyboard in the kitchen? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, so this is when we moved in with the roommates. Let's see this real quick. And that's totally a GameCube. <laughs> Did you guys have a GameCube growing up? Do you still have a GameCube? I really liked my GameCube. Um, I gotta say, for that generation, with the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox, I probably played the GameCube the least, but all of its games were, at least the ones I bought for it, were just so unique, because that's kind of what all Nintendo consoles are for me. It's just like you're mostly focusing on the Nintendo um, games specifically, you know? 
a lot of times, if you want to get multi-platform games, the Nintendo console isn't the best place to get them, as far as like performance and things like that. Oftentimes, Nintendo controllers are also really focused on making Nintendo games play really well, but no, don't necessarily work well for other stuff. Kind of like um, like Soul Calibur on the GameCube. It's a, it was really cool because it had Link in there, but I would say that the GameCube controller isn't the best for like a traditional fighting game, as those buttons are so kind of um, different. On the right hand side, you got the big A button and then the smaller C buttons, I think they call them. This is very unique. Okay, and this is when we moved into our boyfriend's place. They're taking longer now, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. That's so fast. <laughs> True. But no, I would say that's still not a good controller. <laughs> I still have my GameCube controllers. I've broken them out for eight player Smash before. I think they're great for like Zelda and Mario and Smash and Mario Kart. I don't necessarily want to play a fighting game on it or a lot of multi-console games on it. Especially because that analog stick on the GameCube, the, the yellow one, isn't a very good analog stick. Especially if you're playing like a twin stick game, it doesn't work very well for that. Especially compared to the Xbox or PlayStation controllers at the time. But they're really good at focusing on what they want to make, which is why I like to get Nintendo games specifically for Nintendo consoles. So this is when we moved back out from our boyfriend and back into our old house. Which, that's a rough situation, but yeah, sometimes people have to do that and I totally understand. That was a really quick one though, oh my gosh. So yeah, same room, completely different layout. And then this is when we first um, yeah, this is when we first moved into our own place after leaving our parents' house the second time. Let me slow it down a little bit. They have a good feel for the 99. I just don't think they work great for a lot of games. Yeah, especially those C buttons, how far the left and the right one are from with your thumb. That's a lot of movement to do quick, like, fighting game moves or something. It was especially problematic. <laughs> Look at those things bouncing around. I had a hard time fitting them. Um, especially when you are playing games that don't let you remap the controls, which is more common in old consoles. Now, if you're emulating these things, you could remap all you want. But at the time, there was no remapping. I definitely think the GameCube controller felt better in the hand than an Xbox controller, especially those big Duke controllers. Those things were monstrosities. Now, if somebody breaks into your house, you can take that Xbox controller and kill them. That's cool. It's a self-defense weapon. Not the most comfortable controller. And I, I wasn't like super small at the time. I was, what was that, 2001? I was 19 when that came out, so I didn't have like tiny child hands or anything. But I imagine if I did, that would have been miserable. <laughs> it would have been playing like on a big arcade stick. Nice. Okay, so the last level, which I think we're just starting right here. We don't have anything. We're really just getting into this. So I'm not sure what this next one is because we moved out of our parents' house. We've unpacked, but the second level seems like it's continuation of that. And I wasn't sure what that meant. So I guess now let's see where this game wraps up. Let's do this. Resume. There we go. And see what's confusing is uh, we're all still pretty much unpacked. It has the things that I had before still in the same spots. However, it looks like there's some new boxes. So is somebody moving in with us maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, we could put these over by the window. That looks nice. And we got that sofa. That's right, Karim. We needed that. Oh, do you have really tiny hands, 99? That's totally fine. I think mine are pretty average, but I'm fairly tall, so that makes a difference. Yeah, we got to put these over by the sun. Be sure they get some. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. That should go on a wall. I don't know what that is either. It looks like a concert ticket, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's some kind of ticket that they framed. Oh, 
What is this? Looks like some kind of award, maybe? This is all unique stuff. I've never seen any of these things before. Okay, they got their own books. Yeah, somebody's moving in with us. My question is, why don't they unpack their own stuff? <laughs> oh, I saw on Steam uh, some new horror game pop up on my feed. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It looked really creepy. I love the sound effect of those boxes disappearing. It kind of looked like that game Visage that we streamed a while back. I really liked that one. Was oh, this their laptop? Go ahead and put it here. Got a pillow. Right there. Oh, they got a few pillows. And a blanket. Oh, it all matches. What is that? I think it's a Blu-ray. Oh, our game shelves are completely filled up. Wait, I see some room there. Nope. I'm just kidding. There's no room there. We could put a few more Blu-rays down there. That's easy. You're about average height, 99, and have broad shoulders, but your hands are about the same size as girls you know who are like 5'4". How, how tall are you? I'm curious. How much like bigger than that? That's so funny. And it's, I mean, it's usually a good indication, but not 100%. A lot of times proportions are way different than what you expect. That's Jaws. I can totally tell that's Jaws. What is this, though? I'm not sure what movie that is. I love zooming in and seeing those chunky pixels. Hey, we got an umbrella. It's a pink umbrella. I'm not gonna say. Oh wow, yeah, so I guess, you know, proportional wise, you definitely think it'd be bigger, right? That's funny. But nothing wrong with that 99. I think I'm going to move some of these guys and make more room for books over there. Put our games down there. Yeah, we'll keep books on that shelf. And we got some board games. What does that say? Exposure? Or exposure. I don't know what that is. Oh, so it is kind of like your hands are definitely smaller than you'd expect, right? Oh, that's funny. Nothing wrong with that, though. Big hands are overrated. Um, we can keep this over by the plants, I suppose. I might move that to a different room. Or can I tuck it back there, maybe? There we go. Well, that looks nice. This looks like some kind of wall scroll. Oh, there we go. Make some room for it. Anti-hero. Season 2. <laughs> season 1 was okay. Is that an orange slice coaster? <laughs> That's kind of cute. Oh, good cover, especially when you can like tell what they are, right? Books, I'd have a hard time noticing the covers. Oh, and a line too. Books, or yeah, books, I might have a hard time noticing the covers. Movies, I might do a little bit better job. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a horror movie, maybe, or is that a dragon? See, that's a huge boon, 99. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I can't do that at all. Actually, there's a lot of times if I need to reach underneath. Oh, it might be Godzilla. Good call, Krem. If I need to reach underneath a couch or something, I might have to get Andy's help. Because her hands can fit much better. What's this? Hmm. Not sure what that is either. Also, it just kind of looks kind of horror-ish to me. No, that one's Godzilla. Uh, they could both be Godzilla, Krem, but that one definitely looks like Godzilla. Have any of the recent Godzilla movies been any good? Oh, that looks like Alfred Hitch Hitchcock. Mm, not sure what that is. Looks kind of like a superhero movie. Oh, oh, 
it's like Cthulhu. That's awesome. Oh wait, I guess not Cthulhu because it doesn't have all the crazy tentacles, but some kind of, some kind of mon Cthulhu-esque monster. That looks like a sci-fi movie. That looks like a kids movie. Is that All Dogs Go to Heaven or some kind of like lovey-dovey movie? I'm not sure. We got some pots, but no plants. What is that? Is that soil? I think that's soil for the plants. Ah, the final one. <laughs> Goes back a little bit. Oh, we have another one of these. Um, do we have any more windowsills? There we go. Yeah, let's put it over there. Oh, this is like for um, dishes and stuff, isn't it? Like to help dry, I think. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and that's true. If it's like a longer glass 99, I cannot get my hand in there at all. Although I guess that's more like your wrist size than anything else. Yeah, lots of flower stuff for Limitless. This person definitely has a green thumb, as they call it. What is this? I'm not sure exactly what that is. Hey, Phantasma, how are you doing? Welcome back. Oh, good, we can stack them. I still don't know what they are. Is this for cooking? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Weren't you just lurking? Christian! Welcome, Raiders, to John Key. Christian, what the heck were you streaming, dude? <laughs> steamers, steamers, thank you, Relentless. Yeah, I thought that had something to do with cooking. What is this thing? <laughs> I'm looking at, like, common cooking devices. I don't know what this is. Rumbleverse. I'm not even sure what Rumbleverse is. I'm guessing it's some kind of Battle Royale game. Am I right? What is Rumbleverse? Okay. Oh, I can put it down here. It's not an attractive appliance, whatever the hell it is. You know, I've never streamed... Oh, that's a rice cooker. <laughs> Come on, John. So Fortnite, but no guns and like rustling. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. So yeah, definitely a Battle Royale game. How do you like it? Was this your first time playing it? I've never streamed in the games and demos category, but honestly, for some games that we play, it might be a good idea just because some games that we play... There's like nobody in the category. It might be a good idea just to go in there just for visibility, you know? Just be like, hey, check this out. Oh, just enough room for that grater. Oh, here's like something for uh, juicing some lemons and limes. Oh, really? I might have to check that out. Oh, that's true. Might be Asian, although we're not Asian. We use a rice cooker all the dang time. <laughs> oh, soy sauce. Another hint, maybe? Is that soy sauce? I'm not sure. Got another hand towel, but I don't know where I can hang it. Let's put it right there for now. That's cute. I think that's another... Oh, that's a magnet, isn't it? That's a magnet. <laughs> Do you guys have lots of magnets on your fridges? Um, we just have a few of like, like basically magnetic pictures of family members in our living room or in our kitchen. But the one in our garage, that fridge covered in random magnets, all kinds of funny, goofy stuff. Oh, we got room in here. Okay, let's put some of these things in here. Clean up a little bit. <gasps> Ice cream scooper. I love ice cream so much. We actually found at Trader Joe's these like coffee flavored chocolate ice cream sandwiches. So good. I can't believe they were gluten free. This looks like something you would use to like serve things with maybe. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Creme, you should get some cool magnets if you want to spruce it up. It's also nice looking having your fridge completely blank, too. Just depends on the look you're going for. Andy has randomly appeared. 
Just watching. Okay, she's just hanging out. Oh. She's gonna do some crocheting. Do you have another order? Nice. Oh, this is like, um, for grinding things, isn't it? This kitchen needs to be bigger so bad. Let's maneuver these a little bit closer. See if we can make that look a little bit nicer. There we go. <laughs> and you have a printed picture of Batman saying, don't eat any more food. That's kind of amazing, Relentless. I love it. I need that. Something to stop me from snacking so much. It's like, sometimes you just snack out of boredom. Like, we were watching a movie last night, and like, it's like 11 o'clock or something. And I just popped a bag of popcorn. I didn't need it. I wasn't hungry. I just started eating again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that sounds good. Helps keep me awake, too. I get real tired late at night when I'm watching movies. Oh, crap. Clothes. Oh, look. We got another one of these, though. Excellent. Good. More stuffed animals. Hmm. That one can sit on your side of the bed. I'm organizing. Because, well, I think what happened right now is somebody's moving in with us. I already moved into this house and put all my crap around. And then it reset this chapter, but with more boxes. And I think somebody moved in with us. Kind of. Kind of decorating, kind of like a puzzle where you have to, like, put everything in the right place and fit everything. Okay, these definitely need to go in a certain order. They fit a little bit closer if you do it, like, not that way. Why am I having such a hard time with these shoes? I swear at one point they were, like, really close together, and I want that again. Yeah, right there. Okay, I'll leave it like that. That's close enough. <laughs> That's a good one too, Dingo. I hate you the least. I have a bunch of random ones. Like I have one of those old timey, like 1950s looking magnets. It's a big one with a guy just holding a glass of beer and it says, beer, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> just random crap like that. It's a nice dress. Okay, so it is a girl moving in with us from what we can tell. Gosh, the dreaded bras. And this person has a tiger plushie and a dragon themed stuffed, which makes me think that could be Asian. See? Brilliant. I wouldn't even have made that connection right away. Nice. Whoa, and that? That looks like it could be very Japanese, right? I mean, that's absolutely a bed thing. What does that say? Something hero. I'm not sure what exactly that says. Socks. No, not socks. It's underwear, John. Put her underwear in there. I probably spent more time handling women's undergarments in this game than anything else. Oh, we got some. Yeah, yeah. We have two magnets that kind of work together anyway. Let's see if these show up on stream. Yeah, so the two separate, they're unrelated, but they just kind of go together. Let's see. Oh, I think I need to switch views. This one says, some call it I call it motivational speaking. Goes with. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> just random completely random I love it thank you babe we have like probably what 10 or 15 of those on that fridge out there yeah oh yeah she also got me this set of like Mario themed um, uh, fridge magnets that are like a bunch of pieces that you can kind of make a Mario level out of like there's a pipe it has Mario jumping and there's blocks and stuff so you kind of make your own Mario scene it's really cool and you have a pillow uh, like that, but it's a corgi. You gave it to your mom when she had her back surgery. Oh, that's so cute, Dingo. I love that. Yeah, it's not quite a body pillow. I'm not sure what they call that kind of pillow. That in there. More pajamas. I 
think I might run into a problem with clothes. Oh good, more hangers. Luckily, she seems to be putting the clothes that should be hung up there. Oh, is that a walkie-talkie? It is a walkie-talkie. Actually, you know what? This is her stuff. Let's put it on that side. That one has to hang up. Well, that's pretty nice. Where could we... Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't close it when it's like that. Ooh. I'm going to put that there for now, but I kind of want to put that someplace else. I wish it would fit down there. That'd be perfect. I'm, I have a feeling she's going to have more shoes than this. We also have plants. We should put the plants... Can I move this? Put the plane over here? There we go. That works. And these can fit on the windowsill. She definitely likes plants. Headphones. Nice. What the hell is this? Is this like a wall scroll? I don't know what that is. Does this go together? It looks kind of like a little game or something. Oh, that's cool. So both characters, the main character and whoever this is moving in with her, also like anti-hero. Oh, that's neat. There's more shoes. I knew that was coming. Okay, let's move this into here. Let's put more shoes down here. put that under the bed for now. I'm being consistent in how you store these things. Oh, incense. I believe that's correct. Hey, Rosbergs. Good call. How's it going, Rosbergs? So, yeah, these do belong together, right? I believe they'd be similar. Can I fit something in here with the headphones? Oh, here we go. Oh, just barely too big. What if I rearrange this? Ah, it's just slightly too big. Oh, it's so close. I wish I could put that up there. You could put incense back here. Right next to the windowsill, I guess. I don't know. Is that a problem? Is that a fire hazard? It's just breaking glass. Oh, here's another shoe. <laughs> Where'd that come from? There we go. Okay, some of the stuff I'm just going to take out for now because, man, we're running out of room. Oh, thank goodness. I was looking for another hanger because I really wanted to hang this. Nice. Do you put them on the windowsill? Perfect. That is a valid place. <laughs> thank you. I feel like with her clothes, I'm more inclined to hang everything up. Oh, we can put some stuff down here. And then store more up here. There we go. Now... We should be able to put that there. Perfect. That stack of clothes was kind of blocking that. This is her drawer. So much underwear. I think we're out of hangers, so we'll go ahead and put this away normally. Oops. 
Dang it. <laughs> Can't get it out. I'm trying to put the pants with the pants. There we go. Okay, I've made a little bit of room up here. So let's put her backpack here. And maybe this. There we go. Perfect. I like it. Not too bad. Make sure that looks okay. Yeah, I was scared I was going to have too many shoes. I wouldn't be able to put that there. That looks pretty good. No, there's no window in here, but that's okay. Hopefully it's a... Oh! I got a cactus sticker. Hopefully that's something that doesn't need much light. And you wish you remembered the number of the you never want to... Oh, that's right! It was like a horror game or something, wasn't it, Relentless? I vaguely remember that. Krem, you can never have too much underwear. That's true. That's the last thing you want to be, you know, looking for and you just can't find is underwear, right? Let's see, that looks like deodorant. Some of her stuff in here. What is that? Oh, scissors. Or like eyebrow. Things, not scissors. I don't know what you call that, like eyebrow sculptors? Dang it, <laughs> I'm running out of room. Some of this stuff could be over here. I'm not entirely sure what it all represents. Oh no, that definitely needs to go over there. So does that. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, I'm just kind of like making it up. Eh, this could be bathroom related. It's not. These things are definitely, oh my gosh, look at all that shower stuff they have together. Look at all the options. Lashes curler, that's it, thank you. I think that's probably correct, yeah. Or eyelash lifter, yeah, thing. <laughs> Now, can we stack this on anything? Sometimes you can stack those. No, but there is room down there. We might need it for more towels, though. <laughs> as soon as I say that, there's more towels. Oh, and she has a bath mat. Nice. That's cute. They're identical, just different colors. Tissue box? That's handy. Um... some place to put it there. Oh, I can hide that back there. And we can put tissue right there. I can't stack these things. Hmm. <gasps> I can open that! I tried opening one of these in a different house and it didn't open up. So I think I assumed... There is no way to open it. Oh my gosh, that makes all the difference. We can make this so much nicer looking now. Let's see. We got a place for that. Oh, there's one thing off. It's magic! <laughs> the gasp of happiness. Finding just a little bit more storage. It'd be like if you were totally maxed out capacity of your house and all of a sudden you like touched a wall and it opened up and you had a whole new room. Like This is amazing. What did I do with that? Oh, wait. Is there a room right there in front? No. Eh, we'll just leave it there for now. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Happy John Cadia noises. <laughs> Yep, it's the Rossbergs. It's so sad when you're an adult, the things that excite you versus the things that excited you when you were a kid. It is completely different, that's for sure. Um, what here was wrong? Or maybe it's the kitchen. Oh, here it is. Ah, apparently I did not move this after I stacked it all. That's right. I 
think it wants to be stored up high or low. I could probably make room up here. There we go. Okay, we gotta take a picture of one of these rooms. You know, we don't really take a lot of pictures of the bedroom. Let's do that. Now that we got all these guys on the bed like that. That's cute. Are there any good bedroom themed stickers? <laughs> I'll just put underwear where I know all the underwear is. And uh, Phantasma, did I ever see the video of the girl in New York who took her mirror off the wall in the bathroom and found a whole nother unit behind it? Like like a whole new house, essentially? Like I guess like another apartment? That's ridiculous. I have not. But that would be amazing. And it like doubles the value of your home, assuming like you actually own the property, I guess. That would be crazy. Let's go with that. I like that. I don't think we've used that one yet. Nice. Store things in the oven? No, that's terrifying. I'd be so scared I would like go to preheat the oven, Rossbergs, and forget that I had something in there and then just torch it. That's definitely not for me. <laughs> oh, that was a cute picture that just popped up. So glad for all that wardrobe space now. Oh, we just got an achievement called love. Okay, so it definitely is a new love interest. 2018. I think that was 2015 where we just were. Oh, did we move into a new big house? Look at this place and a garage. What? I can't go in the garage, but still. We can also unpack the entryway. Do you guys live in um, one story or two story houses? I've got a one story and I much prefer one story houses if you, if you have the choice. I mean, extra room is nice, but like if it's, if you gave me the same square footage, if I could choose one or two story, I'd always choose one story. I love that these um, kind of tourist things have stuck with us for so long. You're in a one-story phantasma? And Rossberg, is this like a cultural thing? The pans go into the oven. Now, pans make sense because um, assuming they don't have like a plastic handle or something, you don't have to worry about melting it. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to be using those things anyway. Although the problem with storing everything in there, Rossberg, is if you want to use the oven, you got to take everything out, put your one dish in a pan and put that one pan back in, right? And you'll try to find it and put it in Discord, but she has a, a re or she was a renter, and the landlord had obviously just put walls up to make more units. Oh, that's crazy! But nobody had access to that. Is that right? Because it was abandoned. And Krem, you store the pan in the oven sometimes, and your parents does too. Apparently, it's like a big thing. I had no idea. Shan, what's up, Shan? How you doing? And a seventh floor apartment uh, without a sensor. Um, you prolonged. Existence is proven you're immortal. <laughs> nice, Raspers. Nice. I know. That's so cute, Relentless. I love to see that representation. That's so cool. And it's like subtle. It's natural. It's not like, I don't know, something that people would be upset with. Like, oh, it's so ham-fisted, you know? It's like, no, that just felt completely natural the way they introduced that. Uh-oh. Where's our umbrella holder? There we go. I move that a little bit further back? I don't think so. Let's move it here. I'm scared the door is going to hit it. Did they give me too many shoes? What is this, a towel? <laughs> Why is there a random... Why did they give me one set of shoes too many? They're just messing with me. Let's just put them right here for now. I'll probably put them in the bedroom later. Okay, bathroom's over here, so we'll go this way. Oh, sweet! I will definitely check that out. Thank you, Phantasma. Oh, our bathroom plant's still here. That's good to see. Actually, can I put it up here? There we go. Gotta find our mug. I feel like this bathroom has no storage. Wait, what is this, though? 
Oh, here's where... Oh, okay, it's like a bathroom laundry combo. There's some storage. You know what I really like? The music, how it also matches the mood. Like when we had to move back in with our parents, it was kind of a sad, morose song, and then it got happy again once we moved in. Or we had our uh, a new girlfriend move in with us. Actually, there we go. Let's put this stuff up here. I wish I could stack those. <laughs> yeah, no storage. The game. You know, you could totally remake this game as like a troll with just making it impossible to store a lot of things. Just as a joke. I think it's hand soap, isn't it? This belongs out here. What is that? So probably looks like like back pads or something like heating pads for your back. I'm not sure. Let's put that back here. And we went all the way from shoes in the bedroom or all the shoes in the bedroom to the entrance. <laughs> Theory of an Asian character stays strong. Good call. That's right. Although we actually started doing that, but not until we got hardwood floors. When we had our crappy carpet in this house that we live in right now, we didn't care if people wore their shoes in the house. It wasn't in good shape. But as soon as we got the floors replaced with hardwood, no shoes in the house. We keep our shoes at the entrance, whether it's in the uh, laundry room, which is the entrance from the garage, or the main door. This thing's so huge. I'm going to put it down there for now. Our bathtub definitely has less storage. Oh wait, it's right here. I missed that. Never mind, it's all glass. That works. Oh, it's gonna bug me if these are not matching. There we go, much better. And you store your shoes in the entrance and the wardrobe. That's a good call, Krim, especially if you don't wear shoes in the house. And on the art piece you posted on Discord, do you think you should add anything? You keep thinking it's looking like it's missing something. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything, Dingo. I thought it looked amazing. It was super detailed. Sometimes less is more. But it really depends on what you're trying to accentuate in the art, Dingo. Oh yeah, rubber ducky. Hell yeah. You guys have rubber duckies? What is that? What am I looking at? I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I don't know where it goes. I want to put it down here for now. Some towels. Oh, good. We can fit them in the back, too. Oh, put the big towels in the back and the hand towels in the front. Vitamin D. What is this? Sometimes you can tell what something is just by the colors. This one I'm not sure. Anybody know? <laughs> you don't have any rubber duckies? We have a few in our bathtub. I never take a bath. Sometimes Andy will take a bath, but uh, we do have some in the guest bathroom. Oh, I can't stack those. That'd be nice. Tissues should be easily accessible. The waste basket down there. Hmm. Let's put the scale right there. Oh, that might have been like a hair wax kind of thing. That makes sense. And your cousin said you should add the ocean. Oh, like a background item. Yeah, that might make more sense rather than having like a... Uh, oh, wait. We have an actual toilet paper holder. Nice. Um, see, this should go like here. I think that's like just a little mat. Um, yeah, having something like that could make sense because it's not distracting from the characters, Dingo. That's like a bucket for cleaning, isn't it? I'm going to keep that back there that next to the toilet. 
Is that our soil again for plants? <laughs> I think it is. Boom. Dirty laundry thing. Where can this go? I feel like that's going to be in the way of the door. Like it's not going to be able to open. Maybe it should be there. I feel like this is like too tightly packed, but there's not a whole lot of room. Oh, leg wax. Okay. It makes more sense, Rossbergs. It's going to say, I've, I bought hair wax before and it's never been in a box like that. That makes way more sense. Do I have more room? I have a little bit more room up here. There's some tampons. Some pads. I don't know what that is. Is that dishwashing soap, maybe? Let's put that over there. No, that's dishwashing. Or not dishwashing. Clothes detergent. Like some medicine. I don't know what that is. That could be lotion. If it's lotion, I want it here. I always put the spray on there. Laundry powder. Wait, laundry powder? What's laundry powder? It's just a different kind of detergent? Because they got liquid detergent there. Oh no. I'm out of room for towels. Let's put it down there. I know John continues to not know what things are. I mean, I guess there's just two different kinds of... Uh, the same thing, right? I really don't know what this thing is, though. I do know about fabric softener. I do my own laundry, but I don't have two different kinds of detergent. So this is just for your general laundry storage, your dirty laundry. We'll just keep that there. I think that's everything in here. That's not too bad. Although, I like that right there. Mm, that might be as good as we can get it. What if I can move that over one? There's a little bit of room there, but we can't... Oh, okay, there we go. You can fit that there at least. Oh, is powder more um, common? Now, I've seen, like, it's not powder, but it's, like, more granular detergent. When I think of powder, I think, like, baby powder. I've never seen laundry detergent in that kind of form. I've seen it kind of more like, like salt, essentially, like a, like a granular detergent. But I think now it's probably most common to have liquid detergent here. Oh, we actually just have a storage closet. Nice. Is this part of the bedroom? Let's take a look at these rooms. Oh, and we have a baby's room. Oh, we're having a kid. That's so cool. And another bathroom and an office. Oh my Lord. This place is huge. Oh, look at that kitchen. That's nice. It kind of reminds me of mine a little bit. Like this color, it's like a black stainless steel. Look at that TV. Oh my gosh, this place is massive. Okay, let's continue with this room. <laughs> I love that term, Relentless. A gaby. I'll put these as close together as possible. Put pants on the bottom one. Honestly, these shirts I don't really need to hang up, I think. We can hang that, though. Oh, look at that little thing. Little jewelry box or something. That's like sweatpants. Oh, there's even more storage back there. Nice. I was kind of worried how this is going to turn out. 
Oh, you can't put that on there because of the... Um, this thing is a little too tall for that. Okay, so the tall things need to go on the bottom. So let's make sure we put all the small ones on top. Too tall. Ah, oh, someone's a sewer. Oh wait, we had a sewing kit before. I think a lot of these shorts are going to go in here. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine how much underwear we're going to have in these boxes. Lots of hangers. I love to see it. Whoa. I was going to say, can I put that there? Let's move some of these things. There we go. Here it comes. Here comes the underwear. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the more granular detergent is common where you are too. Relentless, you just get the powder stuff. You like it more. Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to know whose is whose now because I'm unpacking them all at the same time. I definitely have not been paying enough attention where I would recognize each piece of underwear. Well, that's cool luggage. I like that. I actually just bought Andy for Christmas some new luggage, and it's it's really neat looking. It's kind of gray and white, but it's got like a very vintage trunk, like, I don't know, 1930s look or something. It's really cool. Wait, I mean, that's just pajamas. We just uh, hold that up. I will say, when this game, like a song is over, it seems to like have a long period of silence before it turns back on. I kind of wish that would be on a quicker loop. We have a ton of hangers. I'm definitely going to have to do some maneuvering in here. I'm just kind of putting all the underwear on the top drawers because, like, it's probably some of the most frequently used items. Well, we finished that one. Okay, let's go down to the next. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't either. But just the fact that I found out there's powder detergent kind of blew my mind. I had never seen it before. Like, that's cool. Little regional differences. Okay, see, now I need to start moving a few things around a little bit just to make room. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait, this is all sleepwear. That could be folded. No, I've never used powdered laundry detergent. I've used, like, the granular stuff and then liquid, and I've never gone back. What was this? That could be folded, too. That we definitely want hanging. Oh, there's this thing. Is it not rare there? I guess I, not, not that it's rare. I've just never seen it. Like, my grandparents didn't use it. Parents didn't use it. So I've never even bought it before. That could hang up. You just use the pods now? Did they, I never use pods for laundry. I use it for the dishes, but never for laundry. And apparently they make a tasty snack. I hope that's not a thing anymore. Oh, that was so ridiculous. Did anybody die from that? I know it made a lot of people sick, but I don't know if they had any fatalities. They probably did. What a waste. 
There we go. Couldn't get rid of it. Oh, we're actually nearing the end. Although we might have to bring more stuff back here. Oh, a safe. Okay, now let's figure out where these other things are going. I was thinking most of the fold-up clothes can go in here. Oh, I want that outfit together. There we go. Oh, that's just a little bit too tall. I wish I could fit that in front of there. Oh, you can't fit that at all when it's like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm only getting away with putting two things in there. I think all the drawers are maxed out. Okay, so we'll just have a few things folded over here. No big deal. Um, how do we want this stuff? I put the hats near each other. Make more room for that. There's actually a lot of room up here. Well, let's put this down here, here. There we go. I like it. I'd probably put the safe further back, but I don't think I can go any further than that. Oh, that's cool. Really, let's just pass down. That's probably what I, how I went about. I, I guess we got Tide. I think that's the brand. And uh, yeah, I've never even seen the powdered version of that. They probably make it, though. They probably make it. And Phantasma, don't spread misinfo to the Europeans. On TikTok, they already thought that we didn't have enough voltage to boil water, and we didn't think we had contactless payment. <laughs> oh, true. You know what the worst thing that blew my mind, uh, Phantasma, about, like, European-American differences? I had no idea they'd been playing terrible versions of games their entire lives from like the 90s and early 2000s. I had no idea that the fact that our televisions were 60 hertz and theirs was 50 hertz, that the majority of the games that were translated between regions ran slower and didn't look as good on their televisions. Like, I had no idea. A lot of times the developers would not go through the extra work to like program it to run correctly on those older televisions. They just like translated it directly. So it literally ran, I don't know what the percentage is. It's like, 15% slower or something 17% slower from like 60 to 50 it just blew my mind because as they come out with all of these you know like the PlayStation um, how you can play PS1 games on the PlayStation people were up in arms like oh my god it's the PAL version what the hell and I'm like what's the difference like why is it such a big deal and then I looked into it and I found out oh, it's because it runs slower it doesn't match the refresh rate of the television so it just doesn't look right it's kind of choppy it's like oh that's so weird I guess Japan was similar to us you know I should probably sort these a little bit better at least put like the pants on one side right oh no but they're all like how would I do that I have so much stuff on there, it's like not easy to do. Ah, we'll leave it like that. I'd have to like take everything off and put it back on. Oh, how they suffer. They had no idea the turmoil they were actually living through. I mean, that's the thing is like, if you grew up with it, you didn't know any different. It's only if you see one and then the other side by side, then you can tell like, oh, this isn't right. Why does it look like that? This looks like, is this a guest room? There's not very many boxes in here. I'm guessing this is a, a Please donate some voltage. <laughs> now, the voltage thing, is that because of just, like, the wall outlets draw different amounts of power?
Yeah, I love their stuff. It's so cute. Yeah, I've never used something like that for melting wax. We just get some big old candles, but never had something specifically for that. Ah, the chickens never go away. Oh, one of them's a horse girl, huh? Thank goodness we can stack those. No, maybe this is their master bedroom. I'm not sure. There's our incense. We oh, see, now in this case, I wouldn't put it next to the window because they have curtains. And that's just a disaster waiting to happen. Can I put them there? Oh, I wish I could put the chickens up there. I'm not really putting them anywhere specifically right now. Just getting them out there. Never know what to do with this thing. I'm just going to put it there for now. Oh, that one's got sunglasses. Look how cool that chicken is. Yeah, the whole chicken extended family. A printer? This needs to go in the office. Didn't we have an office room? Here we go. Let's just put this here for now. I don't see any reason to have that in the bedroom. That absolutely. Move that back. There we go. Oh, alarm clocks. You know what would make it a good alarm clock? Put it up here. <laughs> you have to literally climb out of bed to shut the alarm off. Hmm. There's just like hardly any storage here. We could put all these guys on the windowsill, which I think I'm going to do. Just because I literally have no room in here. There's no closet, no storage. Put it back here. There we go. Got our exercise mats. Oh, we got two of them. Nice. Can I put that on the floor back there? I don't think I can. Let's put it near the purse. This room sucks. <laughs> we need more storage. Um... I put it like that. Can I fit that back there? No. Yeah, I really have to just start stuffing things under the bed because of the storage situation in here. I think that's like a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, crap. Seriously, game? Okay. Let's figure this out. I put them both in here. Unfortunately, even though there's like room back there, you can't put it there. I guess they should each have one, right? There we go. There. Oh, no, that's where this needs to go. Oh, and it won't fit. What's blocking it? Is it the alarm clock? There. Oh, now I can't put the chicken down. Hmm. Well, that thing doesn't need to be there. Chicken needs to be there. Yeah, sure. Put your book there. That's about as good as I can get it. We're probably going to move some things. Oh, you just put all the chickens on the bed? <laughs> They're not really like cuddly stuffed animals. They're much more decorative. I'm sure they just be all over the floor every time you go to bed. And Rosberg's, uh, you did that in high school. You had to get up, cross the room, climb into a chair and turn it off. It's smart because if you put it right next to your bed, oftentimes you wake up, you shut off the alarm 
and then you go right back to sleep. You haven't really woken up. You haven't had to move enough, you know? Okay, let's check out this baby's room. Of course that's going there. Got some blocks. Probably shouldn't put those in the crib. A lot of this stuff is going to go on the floor, I believe. Wait, can we put this in one of these? Oh, you can. Those are cool. I like those. And I love that they still have... Aww. That's cool. I, I love that they still have... Um, I just got an achievement called Fuzzy Friends, I guess, because I put them right next to each other. But we still have these from our childhood, and now they're going to our child. Oh, we can stack them all. Nice. How high can we stack this? Oh, that's as high as it goes. And an achievement for stacking them. Oh, a ma is that a magnet? What is that? Oh, I think it's another baby toy. Like a chew toy? You know, like for dogs? But it's a baby? I think it's like for storing craft stuff? I'm not sure. That's a good idea, Shan. Yeah, the chickens might do better in here. Maybe decorating up here? Let's see what we have when we're done with these boxes. Um, That could be for baby stuff. Could just be for the bathroom. I don't know. Oh, there's like baby wipes. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, drawer. You're in the way. No toys for a baby. <laughs> there. Oh, I like this room. I'm definitely going to move most of this stuff. I'm just kind of slapping stuff around real quick. And clothes. Nice. Little baby bonnet. That's not a toy. It's definitely a hard decoration. The baby has so many beanies. I'm not going to be able to close that if I put anything more in there. Does that fit in there with it? I don't think so. It's just a little too big. I wonder if it fits there by itself. It does fit there by itself. I think it might be better to put in here, though. How many more blocks do we have? Yes, it's exactly the same piggy, basically, except his ears are up, but that's cute. The same things we liked as a kid. Our kid's going to like, which is fun. Oh, see, this should go in here. There we go. I, think I could stack any more shirts. There's not going to be any room for the baby after we're done with all these toys. Two babies? I see a blue and a pink rattle. Or maybe the baby just wants to dual wheel rattles. Whoa! Over there. Okay, so wastebasket. I think he's going to go in that back corner. in there okay we have all kinds of room up here what should go in there maybe the chickens I feel like we have a lot of extra room that's okay for all that stuff I mean you could put some toys there but that seems silly oh the bunny could go in one of these 
<laughs> of course, we're going to go with just the bunny booty. That's what I was thinking, Krem. You got to train them early, right? And we don't have to take all the chickens. Maybe just a few. Actually, is there room for all of them? Even if we go on top? I think there might be, yeah. Ah, why not? I mean, who doesn't, Relentless? Come on. <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask you, Relentless. Did you see that movie Everywhere and Everything All at Once? I think that's what it's called. It's got a crazy name, but I just watched it last night. I really liked it. It was wild. There's all kinds of multiverse time travel stuff going on. And with no superheroes, which was weird. Usually you don't get that kind of movie with... Uh, without some Marvel injection. You want fit down there? No. There we go, that looks better. Eh, we'll just keep all those toys in the crib for now. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's crazy. It's definitely more of a comedy than anything else, but it was fun. It's definitely some sad moments too. Can't quite fit that on the windowsill. So this must be a guest bathroom, because there's not much to this room. And we're done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Can't even open up the medicine drawer. Yeah, I was waiting for it to come to rent on Amazon. That's how I watched it. I didn't want to purchase it for 20 bucks, but I'll rent it for four or five bucks just to see it. And then if I like it, then we'll get it. Oh, look at that witch. That's cool. Oh, I recognize some of these books from before, too. Little craft station. Oh, this is one of those um, adjustable desks. Do you guys have that? I don't have one, personally. I don't know. I don't ever feel the need to stand when I'm working. I just prefer to get up, move around, walk, and then come back. But it's cool if you like if you like that, to stand while you work. What room we got in here? Yeah, that works. There's our laptop. I never had one of these things that just kind of keeps going forever and forever. They're, they're neat, but I've never gotten one myself. <laughs> just bathe in the lake. Why would they need a shower? <laughs> That's what you call a half bath, Krem, when you, uh, you have a bathroom, but it's just a toilet. It's not really a bath bathroom, it's a half bath. Oh, look at that little chicken drawing. What is this? Is that a wrist brace? I think it's a wrist brace. I think that's a board game. I'm not totally sure. And Lick Suit, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. And the piggy on the business card. Good catch there. What the hell is our business? I mean, we'll probably pull more stuff out and find out. Maybe we're the artist, the creator behind the character. I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. That's familiar, the big mess of cables. Actually, that should go down here. I have multiple of those in the house, <laughs> sad to say. Oh, here's our thing to hold um, a guitar. Nice. Gotta put these up. Lava lamp. I've never owned a lava lamp. 
I think they're neat. I've just never had one. Oh, and a little guitar book? I feel like our character might make a children's show or something. Oh, and here's like a our art easel. Oh yeah, we did see artist stuff in the past. Yeah, yeah. I like as soon as you put that clock down, it's moving. Of course, we don't get rid of the D&D. &D. You can never get rid of the Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, I can tell we're gonna have to make room. Here's a proper monitor. Now, do we have a, a desktop computer or is it just this? Because I think, yeah, we might just plug our laptop into the monitor. And look at all these kids' books. We must make these, right? That's the same pig. Holy cow. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I'm running out of room there. There's a stress ball. Nice. I definitely got to rearrange this a little bit. I'm trying to think, like, how is my office set up at work? <laughs> definitely have sticky notes close on hand next to the monitor. Nice. Oh, look at this drawing tablet thing. Okay. Let's move our wrist rest. Probably move our... Some place to hang our headphones. I'll just put them there for now. Just barely enough room. I'm going to start to stack books down there just until... Okay, this is a terrible idea, putting a wireless router inside of a metal box. Don't do that. You're not going to have any signal. I'm just going to put it there. That's right. We finally have room for our diploma. Did, did we put it underneath the bed before Relentless? Oh, look at that computer. Now we're getting a much more modern computer. Okay, so we have a laptop and that. In that case... I'm trying to think. Would we actually want our laptop up here? Well, you still might. You might plug it into everything. We can leave that there. Okay, now we have room. Let's uh, move the books over here. Let's migrate a book so we can put all those together. I would probably put the printer over there, honestly. all these like books together. I don't know if I can fit them all together. Not quite. There we go. And we have our own office. Moving on up. I love to see it. Okay, let's move... That over here. Let's make some room for the printer. There we go. And we're hiding the nasty looking uh, Wi-Fi router. Move our guitar here. Yeah, so I think it's... I also... I don't know why I keep thinking children's show, but... The musical instrument stuff and the music lessons kind of think like, Oh, I wonder if that's all part of it. over a little bit. Love it. Okay. A lot of room, actually. I guess I could put the laptop down there if I wanted to. 
That looks a little bit cleaner. Let's move this over here so we have more room for this, because that thing's huge. There we go. Perfect. Like it. And you have a room where you keep all your art stuff and books. Oh, that's cool, Krim. It's good to have that space. Yeah. Without any kids right now, we're pretty lucky in that. I have, this is like my office. So I've got my computer, I've got a futon TV to play games on if I want to in here. This is a pretty small room, but in the closet, I got all my workout stuff, rock band equipment, all the like cables and just stuff like that. Um, in Andy's office, she's got her computer desk and all that stuff, but she also has all of her storage for her crochet stuff. So tons of yarn, baskets, all her tools, that kind of thing. All right, here's our main living room, I believe. Or dining room, I guess. There's that ticket stub. I wonder if that's where these characters met. I wonder if we met at a concert, because that definitely seems special and they framed that ticket. Oh, look at the picture. And their kids. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, I mean, kids aren't for everybody. I might still have kids. I don't know. But there's there's pluses and minuses, right? I think when you're young, it's way more convenient not having kids. And when you get older, you might say, man, I wish I had like, you know, for the holidays and stuff. It'd be nice to have family and stuff come over. But there's definitely something to be said about two incomes, no kids. <laughs> That's like living in the money. What is this thing? We saw this once before and I still don't know exactly what it is. I feel like it doesn't belong in this room though. I feel like I see a lot of parenting books, which is cool to see. Could put the plant right here on the table too. A little, little centerpiece. Oh, that's another laptop. Mm, I can't actually put these together on the same shelf. I think that's going to move, but that's okay for now. Oh, that's right. I forgot that we were Jewish. Um, maybe the windowsill would be a good place for this. I'm not entirely sure. You put it up there, you can't really reach it. Yeah, I think this laptop definitely needs to come in here. Can't stack it, though. I don't know exactly what that is. I think that's like a game. I'll keep it in there for now. We might have to move that. This looks like artwork. Is there just nowhere big enough in this room to put this? Oh, that was printer paper. Okay, so that that's a perfect spot. I totally missed when you said that, Relentless. You're totally right. I feel like... Oh, here we go. We just didn't have a big enough spot in the wall. Is this a laptop too? It looks kind of like a docking station, honestly. <laughs> Maybe it goes there. You want to put the books down here, actually. go. Some room there. Just when you think there's no more books, they pull you back in. Oh, we got some uh, placemats. I 
And a napkin holder. Look how adult we are. And a toaster. Right in the living room. <laughs> Let's put this over here. Actually, probably right next to those outlets right there. Yeah, I definitely have found some items. It's like, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. There we go. That looks nice. I like that. Dish soap will keep out. Hand soap will keep out. Sponge we might put away, but I'll just leave it in the sink for now. Such an interesting little game. Like, it's surprisingly satisfying just organizing and, like, how would I do this? Like, it kind of tells you somebody about, I guess, watching somebody do this. You can kind of tell, like, you got some weird ideas of where you like to put stuff, John. Put all our sauces down there. It's interesting. It's all, um, like, open. There's, like, no closed drawers except for these little ones right here for utensils and stuff. Oh, wait, that's a magnet. And what's funny is you could also choose to not put anything on the fridge. You know, you could keep it completely empty and just throw all that stuff in a closet or something. You cannot stack the glasses. That looks like a candle, isn't it? Is that a candle or honey? I'm not sure. Oh, that's for, like, baking. Wait a second. This little car. We put it here? There we go. Gotta put it with the rest of our stuff. Nice. <laughs> John doesn't keep his keyboard in the bathroom? What a weirdo. I do keep, uh, I usually have, well, it's wherever I'm going, but I always have a tablet with me. Often in the bathroom or bedroom. <laughs> if I'm in a room that doesn't have a TV and I'm listening to something, that's super handy. Oh, there's no room on the windowsill for this. Oh, there is. I can, I can hardly even tell. Is it hanging? What is that? Like, this might be a strange... Yeah, that looks like a wall, doesn't it? Like, that's not flat. That's vertical, isn't it? It kind of looks vertical to me. But if I try to put this here, it snaps right in. Maybe it's flat. It's like an optical illusion. I'll take it. <laughs> you keep it in the shower. <laughs> nice. You know, some people will have a tablet in the shower. I've seen some kind of, um, like, thing you would hang on the glass or on the wall in the shower, but it keeps your tablet completely covered, but you can be watching something in there while you shower. And I guess you could probably still t be, like, controlling it? I'm not sure. That's like an egg timer thing. Uh, we should have that on the front. There we go. Another one of these. I don't know what this is exactly. You put something in there? Yeah, let's start putting those things in there. Got a lot of spices. I might put that down there, actually. Oh, just barely enough room for the ice cream scooper. That's the most important thing. I want to stack these down there. Oh, you can. Perfect. There's really no great place for a globe in here. Let's put it up there for now. There's the rice cooker, which we could keep up there. Yeah, sometimes you need to get through with boxes just to get access to other storage.
Ooh, coffee. I think that's coffee. That was a coffee grinder. That's gonna need power. I think that might need to go down here. So many little uh, cookie shapes. I love it. <laughs> True crib. Although be careful with spacing out in the shower. I don't know if you guys are in drought conditions. We are in California. That's too expensive. We can't just like space out in the shower. You got to be quick. <laughs> got to get the hell out of there. One random thing of toilet paper. Are you serious? Or at least there's paper towels. Um... We don't really have a paper towel holder, do we? What is this for? Like towels, I think? Oh, I can't fit that there? There's a little bit of room there. I feel like I should be able to fit that down here somewhere if I rearrange these a little bit. Oh, there we go. More magnets. I'm pretty sure that's a peeler. We're not entirely sure about that. You know, it looks like there's a depression there, but you know, now that I look at this more... Oh yeah, I guess it's casting a shadow right there. So there has to be something flat there. Optical illusion. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, Relentless. You get to kind of plan ahead of time by just dropping everything on the floor. Just a little too big. Eh, we could store something up there. There's our steamer, which I think it wanted put away. have room for any more towels. I'm going to store it down there. There we go. Ooh, that fit back there nicely. Is this... Is this trash bags? I'm not sure what that is. It kind of looks like trash bags. Can you really? Oh, that's so cute. I missed that multiple times, Relentless. Oh, good call. I didn't even think about right-clicking on that. I wonder what else you can, like, just randomly click on to do things. Put that next to there. Yeah, see, I feel like this is just trash bags. So I would probably put those underneath the sink, personally. to close a drawer holding this thing. Oh, we put pans down there. Matches. Put matches back here. I'm going to have to move this. Fit that there. Eh, we can put it in the sink for now. Got some oven mitts. That eh, works there. There we go. I was hoping I'd be able to stack something there. Oh, I can't do two of them? Dang it. Okay, let's put it there. Actually, I might be able to put all of them there. There we go. There's more room in there for stacking. Nice. Oh, and the TV. I'll be sure to remember to do that. I wonder if we can do the computer. Hey, there you go. Is it still starting up? Oh, yeah. 
That's cute. I really like that. Oops, I picked it up. Don't do that. I bet it needs to be close to um, some source of power for that to work at all, right? And we're finally getting to the dishes. Oh no, not quite enough room. Let's continue putting similar dishes next to each other. Whoops, how did I grab that? There we go. Cutting board. Didn't I take something out of here? Yeah, we do have room. Put that there. Oh, the coffee grinder is not going to fit if I put that there. Let's put it over there. It's mostly out of the way. Kind of did look like that. I saw that grow. That's as good as any spot. I think that's a magnet? Yes. We should definitely... Oh yeah, you gotta put the poop and the letters at the bottom so the kid can play with them, right? Write some naughty words. There's our French press for the coffee. Oh, knives. They're right there. Forgot we never found silverware. <laughs> That's right. Our water bottle down there. Oh, now we can put that up there. You won't be able to write too much with those letters that we have. Oh, you can erase it too. That's cool. <laughs> Witch OS. I love it. Oh, I didn't put these cookie cutters away. If they, they'll fit. I think they're all gonna fit. I'm missing space for like one. There we go. It's random, but it fits. Ah, that's not too bad. Might not actually keep that there like that. Let's put that there. There we go. It seems like it's a little too um, janky actually inside the sink. Can we put the globe up here? There we go. Okay, that looks better. Now for the main living room. I think that was a movie. That one, no, that's a movie. That's probably a, that's a game. What is that? What year is this? That might be like a Wii U game. I'm not sure. PlayStation 4? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. That's a movie for sure. I think it's a DVD. Do you guys still collect like physical movies? Oh, was that up? Oh, I can totally tell that, Jumi. Nice. Ah, yeah, all the balloons right there in the house. That's cool. Okay, so those are definitely DVDs or Blu-rays or something. Maybe these are DVDs and these are all Blu-rays. There's our portable game collection. Um... 
I'm going to put these up here for now. Let's see how that goes. There's the GameCube. I feel like the developer really enjoys Nintendo stuff. Can't blame them. Look at that. What is this? Nuclear narwhals? <laughs> That's cute. Where could we store this? I'll put it underneath the table for now. Oh, crap. That goes in the kitchen. Where does this go in the kitchen? Remember before I stored it right here? Everybody was so upset. <laughs> I had like no place to put it. Oh, can I fit it down here? Nice. Didn't realize how much room I had. Those are cute. There's our Wii. It actually feels like kind of bright. Uh, that's a cool lighting effect. Gotta have easy access to all those controllers. Do you all typically get just two controllers or one controller for your consoles, or do you go out and get four? Because, man, I was always getting four because we were often hosting parties and having friends over and playing four-player games, but it is it gets ridiculously expensive trying to get four controllers for everything. Oh, this guy. Nice. I bet if I move that over here, we could fit this. No? What about now? There we go. Oh, and a water ball. Oh, perfect. I like these little uh, coasters. Those are cute. Jumble! Wave race? No. Metroid. I think that's supposed to be Metroid. Kind of looks like Samus with the red and the green helmet. I think that's supposed to be Animal Crossing. Got the yellow text and it looks like a house with some green land. I think that's Simpsons. That kind of looks like Homer right there. Which Simpsons game? Hit and Run, maybe? Uh, I bet that's supposed to be Zelda. That's like the Master Sword and a lot of gold. That's cool. Is that a game? Or is that a movie? I think it's a movie. You know, we have a few of these that look very similar. I think those are supposed to be Wii games, actually. Oh yeah, that's like Wii Sports. That's like Dance? What is it called? Dance Central or... Just Dance. I think it's called Just Dance. That's definitely a movie. What game is that? Lion King? No! Okami? I think it's Okami. I never played that game, but I've heard it's really good. Um, I have no idea what that is. It looks like just some random kid's game. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Oh, I can't fit anymore. Let's go ahead and move the games next to the console. Are they going to fit? No. What if I move this? Put that over there. Mm, don't know what that game is. Looks like some kind of rhythm game. Oh, that does sound familiar, Relentless. Exploding Kittens is a fun one. I 
What is that? That looks kind of like Mario Kart. I think that might be Mario Kart. I see wheels and a red car and a hat. The GameCube Mario Kart was great. Gotta put that on the ouch. Okay, we're out of room there. Hmm. Let me zoom out again. I might take these games out. Put the books up here? And then just expand the movies over here. Oh, you can't stack the games there. We'll stack them down there for now. There's Jaws. Oh, you know what? No, we can put all those games down there. Well, it feels so empty then. You know what, let's... Put the games here. I think it's just gonna barely fit. And we'll move the controllers... over here. So we got the GameCube controllers, but we don't have the GameCube anymore. There we go. That looks really nice. I like that. There's really no better place to put this. Oh, you can actually put it right next to the console there. That works. But was that all the rooms? We did tackle all the rooms. Okay, so now we need to fix these few things. And that probably wants to be in the sink. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what you want from me, whale. You can go there. Um, this thing, I think, just doesn't want to be <laughs> fake retro controls. I have two of those, actually. I got well, no, no, fake, as in they're not the original, but I got some Bluetooth. I got a Genesis controller and a Super Nintendo controller. So when I go back and play those games, I can actually use authentic controls, which is fun. Go ahead and put that up there. I think that's happy. Doesn't like the laptop there. You know what? Maybe they want this laptop in the room I unpacked it in. Was it in here? Oh, plant. What's wrong with the plant? Do we not want any plants in the baby's room? You know, maybe it's supposed to go up there. Maybe we should give the kid a bunny with the plant up there. Maybe it's like, if it's in reach of the baby, it doesn't like it. Incense. Put it up there. Actually, let's put this book down here. Let's put both of these up here. Oh, two things in here. Okay, so this... Oh, that's an actual bath mat to keep you from slipping. Okay, so we'll keep that in here. And this can go over here. What happened? Oh, this guy. We put that in here. No, you can't stuff it in there. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe we want this in the bedroom because we're going to move it back and forth. Oh, that was the baby changing station. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to plant there. <laughs> That's not the best idea. Maybe this goes in a bedroom. A 
Doesn't like it in that room. Oh, in here? No. I guess a bedroom makes the second most amount of sense, but it doesn't like this thing in here either. I personally keep my laundry basket in the closet, and then when I'm changing, I usually just throw the dirty clothes in there and then once a week move it from there to the laundry room. But I don't know where else people would put a laundry basket that makes sense. Does it need to go right there? Let me see what it's trying to do. Oh, you can't fit it there. I don't think. No. Oh, it is somewhere in the bathroom. <laughs> Come on, game. I must... I have to go back and look at the footage. I must have been like one pixel away from that spot. That's okay with that. Yeah, like right here. I must have just not clicked it close enough to the wall. Right there. Yeah, too far away. Got a visitor. I heard some pitter-patter of footsteps behind me. In a wild, Georgie appeared. Hi, Georgie. What you doing? He's just chilling. He's just chilling in here. Georgie, hey, what you doing? He just wants to relax. It looks like he's like, I want to get away from things. I'm just going to sleep in dad's office. It's all good. Oh, we got to take a picture. Which is the best room? Hmm. Maybe the baby's room. I mean, that's the first time we've had a baby's room. That art room looks really cool. The office. Yeah, I think we should do the baby's room. There we go. Let's uh, go up a little bit. Put some more blocks there. What frame do we want? What just screams baby's room? Maybe like that one. Oh, we should put a filter on this one too, huh? There we go. I like that one. Bam. That's so cool. Although this is like a disaster waiting to happen with all the blocks stacked up that high. We're so looking forward to meeting you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, what a nice little game. That was really cool. And it was very interesting how you got to like infer so many things about the character just through the small details. Oh, what? Now all your stuff is here. In boxes on the floor. There's a song just for this game. You open up a box, there is so much to do. I open up my heart, this is now a home for two. That's really cute, I like that. Your houseplant brightens up, the dreary windowsill. Your blanket keeps us warm. We pull your favorite mug out of the packing foam Stick magnets on the fridge and we make this house a home Ah, the adventures of unpacking, right? We put our photo on the shelf I smile to myself And you get to see all the stuff, your favorite items You cut Stanley knife and we unpack your life. It's amazing that they can do that, right? Krem, we've never seen them, but we feel for them.
we've lived with them in a way through so many different experiences. Oh, look at all the chickens. Our things combine your favorite stuffed toy right next to mine. Our prized possessions in a prime location on the bedroom shelf. I smile to myself. You cut the tape with my Stanley knife. Brand placement. Their grandma. It's we cute. unpack our life. We unpack our life. We unpack our life. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're playing our little guitar, ukulele or whatever, and the baby's there. Oh. That is really cute. That was a fun little experience. I guess that's the best way of describing it. Like, it wasn't like challenging in much of any way. It was more just like a very relaxing Zen experience, you know? And it really makes you think about things and how much of our life is kind of tied to stuff that we have, our memories, emotions, experiences. It's really neat. Learn a lot about somebody by looking at their stuff, right? What a cool game.